Hey Bubble Family, welcome back to the channel. So I think I'm going to do a slightly shorter video today. Today? Today? <laughs> See, literally I'm on like 13 seconds and already <laughs> mispronouncing words. Today? 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 Um, I just want to say, bless the people that have emailed me saying, I'm really worried about you. You might need to go to the doctor um, because of the fact that you're mispronouncing your words. Um, it's the menopause, peoples. I do appreciate, do appreciate that you are worried about me. And I love the fact that you worry about me. But unfortunately, this is the onset of the menopause. Apparently mispronouncing words, getting words jumbled up is part of the thing. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> um, so do not worry. I'm hoping it will pass. I'm hoping, ah, and I just want to, no, do you know, no, no, do you know what? No, I'm gonna say, the black cohosh, because I thought, oh, I don't want to jinx it. But no, I'm going to say it. I've been taking the black cohosh now for two weeks. And I want to thank you to everybody who recommended this. Because even though I'm still getting a little bit warm, I'm not getting so far the really, really kind of the, 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 the hot sweats, the drippy kind of... <gasps> no! <gasps> the hot glows or someone said the power surges power up <laughs> um the the hot glows the drippy glows <laughs> i'm not getting those anywhere near as bad um and it's been very warm here as well so um even though i just still have my trusty fan which i have to say honestly if you feel hot anyone please get one of these because they are amazing actually they really are amazing and they and the air is cold cool should i say much better than the the whirly gig fans um because they just blow around warm air for some reason yeah and you get a workout and i have to i have to change hands because otherwise i'm just going to get one arm that looks like arnie like muscle and then the other one floppy so, uh, so yeah, so this is going to be just a waffly video, really, because I just feel I just feel like in the need for a bit of a waffly video. So there's a few things that I kind of wanted to chat about. Um, and I thought, you know what, who better to chat with than my wonderful, my wonderful bubble family. So. By now, you should know what to do, and if you don't, why not? Grab that drink of choice, whether it be, in my case, it is pineapple and passion fruit, uh, sparkling, um, which, or in Trev's world, urine. It is not urine. I don't even think I could pee that much, just saying. It is orange and passion fruit. It's a shame we don't do that. Do you remember that smell of vision? It's like when you can smell it. Never, actually, do you know what, Emma? I don't even think that's ever been a thing. What are you talking about? And 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 I actually have a pip hair in it. A black a black cat hair. Can you see? Can you see that? Yeah, look there. It doesn't look black on camera, but it is. It's a black cat hair. Or it looked black in the thingy anyway. Oh, that was one of Arthur's. <laughs> So grab that drink of choice, whether it be what I'm drinking here, whether it be sparkling flavoured water, whether it be tea, whether it be coffee, or whether you would like um, a, mm -mm -mm, what, what alcoholic drink can we think of? Whether it be maybe a cocktail, a Harvey wall banger, no idea what's in a Harvey wall banger, um, or sex on the beach. Um, if you would like one of those, because as I say, it is five o'clock somewhere. So grab that drink and let's dive right in. Mm -hmm. 
bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Firstly, before I get started into kind of my waffly video, I would like to say what is, which is what I put on the community page is, I wanna take a minute to appreciate the wonderful Olivia Newton-John who passed away yesterday. Um, I was so, so sad to see this wonderful, wonderful woman has lost lost her fight. Um, and it is sad. She was one of, she is one of my favorite actresses, one of my favorite people actually. She, she just did so much. She always come across so warm, so kind. You know, there was kind of nothing that she wouldn't do. Anyone who ever spoke about her was just so, who just always spoke about her in the kindest way. And, um, you know, she did a lot of work for charity and, you know, and it's like, and I always remember her, you know, let's get physical, physical. I'm not going to sing anymore. You know, and Xanadu. <laughs> My terrible singing voice. Xanadu. Um, I'm just gearing Trevor up for a duet. <laughs> I... I, I obviously I grew up with the original Grease, Grease, not the one with Michelle Pfeiffer and uh, oh gosh, what was that other guy's name? Is it Max Caulfield? Is that his name? Um, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it because I, I'm a bit of a sucker for things like that. But it was not a patch on the original Grease movie. I mean, come on. You know, it was just. You know, Stockard Channing as Rizzo is. There was just there was just so much about it. Just for me, it's just such nostalgia. And then, like I say, and then Xanadu. It was like it was one of my feel good films, which I think I'm going to watch this evening in honour of Olivia Newton John. I think. Do you know what this evening, guys? I think as many of you as possible should watch. An Olivia Newton-John film in honor of honor of her as part of our bubble family um, should watch and then put it up in the comments which film you decided to watch I mean obviously you don't have to you might not even have been a fan but you know if you are a fan let's watch an Olivia Newton-John film which mine tonight is gonna be Xanadu I'm gonna watch it um, because it, I, I love it um, and it's just sad. It's just sad. And then I also read the news that Anne Hesh is in a critical condition. I think she's in a coma after driving her car into a building. I mean, thank goodness the people that were in the building and the animals were not hurt. Um, but she's very critical in hospital and I love her too. I think she's a great actress. I didn't even, you know, it's like, oh my God, what is happening? Um, you know, there seems to be, you know, a lot going on at the moment. And um, I mean, nothing's been released about the circumstances or what happened surrounding why this happened. Because people are saying, some people are saying that she drove into a garage or something and then she reversed out of there and then, then crashed into this building. But again, a lot of things, as we know, in the media could be hearsay. We don't know. So I think it's really important that we just stick with the facts. And the facts are, at the moment, is that she is very poorly in hospital. And I truly hope that she makes a recovery and that she is okay. Um, because I imagine family, friends, you know, this must be a very worrying time. And like I say, and I really like her as an actress. I remember watching her in... Um, Oh, it was a series. What was it called? What was it called? It was something about trees. It was, I mean, it was like she was filmed, I think, in like Alaska or somewhere or somewhere like that, and and um, and she was seeing this kind of guy who was he was like, I don't know, he was a bit rough and ready, but um, and I can't, I can't remember his name as an actor. Um, but it's not like we forgot about trees or, so, or something like that. But it was it was like an American, like, you know, it was, it was really, it was nice. But I think it got cancelled, unfortunately, like a lot of programmes do. But, 
yeah so i i liked it and um and it's a shame that it got cancelled because i because i liked it um if anyone can remember what that was called let me know in the comments um but yeah so there's just you know a little bit of sadness i mean uh you know i imagine people in australia are really mourning you know olivia newton john right now because she was you know a real australian sweetheart and um you know, and, and some of the things that are coming out about her, are just, you know, the tributes and, uh, you know, and the, the messages and, you know, from stars, you know, and and it's it's just lovely to see that nobody has a bad word to say about her. And, and I don't feel they ever have as far as I can recall. And it's just, um, yeah, and it's it's just sad. And I think we're on the, I think, an anniversary, I think, of, uh, of, of Whitney's uh, passing or it's her birthday, I think, today. And, and uh you know, so that's another sad, sad tragedy. Albeit, I appreciate that it's not not in the same context because you know she was uh, heavily into into the drugs and there was she had some serious issues there. But you know, so I think you know for anyone that feels really particularly down or particularly sad, just remember you're not alone in this in this uh, you know bubble community here. You know, please utilize that and reach out. If ever I see anything in the comments, I always try and pin them to the top so you know people can read them and and you know and, and just you know just give some words of comfort and support um because sometimes when we even when we you know see the death of a celebrity you know it can bring up a lot of things for us and um you know or you might have really loved that celebrity and that can feel upsetting you know because sometimes you do feel like you know them so whatever it is whatever you're feeling just know you're not alone here and um and like I say, utilize the bubble community because that is what it's there for. Um, don't forget, you still have time. You have up until Thursday to enter the competition. You need to put hashtag bubble family. All the details are on the community page um, and are in the comments of the video. What else? Yes, okay, so one thing I wanted to say to all of you Hang on one second. Yeah. Um, I'm just recording a video at the minute. I'll be. Well, I'll be down in a minute. It won't be long. Sorry, my, my son's cooking burgers. Um, is I know that a lot of you get sick and tired of Harry and Meghan, and I really believe you me. I really really appreciate that, and I will be continuing the Tom Bauer book, but I will be taking breaks periodically. But I need your help because if you want me to talk about other things, what I need you to do is to watch the video, you know, like or even like the video or whatever it is. Because what I'm noticing is I've got just over 17,000 subscribers here now, which is amazing. And I'm so super grateful to the fact that I've got 17,000 subscribers. But it's like when I did the Britney video yesterday, it's had less than 2,000 views, whereas my Harry and Meghan video, I mean, again, I'm not really always understanding the view side of things because I've spoken about this before because I don't know whether this is to do with the algorithm. I, I genuinely don't know. But when, I've, when I look on other channels, I will see that they will have, say, I don't know, example, they have, say, um, nine, 10,000 subscribers but their views on their video will be something like 11 or 12,000 views, which what that says then is that a lot of their subscribers are watching their videos and a lot of non-subscribers are also watching their videos. What I don't understand, and this is why I've always kind of had a bit of a kind of not really getting YouTube, is I am not getting a lot of views on my videos. Now, I, so I have 17,000 subscribers, but even on my Harry and Meghan videos, I'm roughly anywhere between five to 10,000 views on my, on my videos. I don't understand this. I, and I don't, and if someone could explain to me how this works, I would be super grateful because I don't get it. I don't get why somebody subscribes to a channel but doesn't watch their videos. And it's even worse when I don't do the Harry and Meghan videos, I get very minimal views. Um, and so this this doesn't help me because I don't always want to be talking about Harry and Meghan. Megan? <laughs> me again. 
<laughs> I don't always want to be talking about them. I really don't. But I don't want to get drawn into this talking about them because I know that is what helps the algorithm or helps the helps the views. Um, so I need your help as as my bubble community. Please, can you just even if you play it in the background, it doesn't matter. You know, you don't have to sit and watch the whole thing. Um, just do so. Just you know, like I say, or even like it or something because. I, at the moment, I I am at that kind of stage where I'm I'm working really hard to make the channel work. And I am, like I say, I'm very grateful to all of you that are helping me make this work. But for me to be able to help more people, I have to have a successful channel. And when I have 17,000 subscribers, which is amazing, but it's not marrying up with the views and that I don't understand why so if there's something I'm not doing and maybe there are some of you that might know what I'm doing wrong you know because I feel like the thumbnails are fine um you know I've looked at the analytics and it's showing that about 50 to 60 percent of people watching my channel are subscribers and the rest are not so where are you <laughs> you know uh, where I mean, I, I appreciate that maybe there are people that have subscribed and then just gone off and maybe not and just forgotten to unsubscribe. I appreciate that. But that can't be all of you. You know, I've certainly especially given the fact that I've gone up, you know, over the last, I don't know, uh, maybe few months, I've I've gone up 4000, you know, four or five thousand subscribers again, which is great. And I'm not I'm certainly not complaining about that, but I don't understand if I have this many subscribers, which are, must be genuine because you've clicked on the subscribe, um, where are you? <laughs> because I'm not getting that, like I say, in in the views. Um, it, it, I find it really bizarre how I do a video on Britney Spears and there's a lot of Britney Spears fans out there, um, but yet I'm only getting like I say, less than 2,000 views on the video. Um, and like I say, and even when I do Harry and Meghan, when I look at other channels who've even got less subscribers than me, but they get more views on their videos. And I don't, I don't understand. I, I generally don't understand how this works. Um, and the only reason I ask you is because well, I'm, yeah, I'm asking for your help. I'm asking for your help advice because I am, I want, I'm invested in this channel. I want to make this work. You know, I want to be able to do the giveaways. I want to be able to keep giving back to you, but I can't do that if, because when you are running a channel and the monetary side of chat of the channel, um, you have to get the views to get that. For me to be able to work with clients for free, I have to be able to run a successful channel. So that's the only way it works. And I'm not gonna have that if the people are not watching my videos. So I genuinely don't know. And I, and I know I have spoken about this before, um, but I think I genuinely believed that because my subscriber count had gone up, that my views would, would go up. And they have to a degree because I was before that I was getting kind of like two, three thousand views on my videos. So that like they have gone up, but not in comparison to other people. Um, when I look at a lot of channels that do, that cover Harry and Meghan and not all of them have, you know, a lot of them have more uh, subscribers than me. And that's that's fine. And I get that. But some don't but they have more views than me. So what am I doing wrong? What am I missing here? Um, because I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. So I am asking for your help, whether you can tell me what I'm doing wrong. Are you seeing my videos? Are they coming up on your recommended? Um, how are you, you know, are your subscriptions, um, subscriptions, no. Are your notifications going off? Um, are you still subscribed to the channel? Have you been unsubscribed? Um, I don't know. I'm, so that's why I'm asking for your help because 
I am still learning about YouTube and um, so yeah. So please, Bubbles, I would like your help. Um, any advice, any help, because I want to, like I say, I want to talk about more things, but I can't do that if I'm literally getting one to 2,000 views. Like even when I've done the therapy videos, I just don't get the views and I can't sustain the channel that way. So please, I'm asking you for your help so I come away from the Harry and Meghan stuff some of the time. I will still talk about them when it's relative and I still will finish the Tom Bauer book. But if you keep asking me to do more things, I will absolutely do that and happy to, but I need the views. So I need you to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Help. So that being said, that's all there is really this for this particular video. I'm sorry that it's probably not as exciting as what I normally do. Um, but I wanted to mention about Olivia Newton-John and I wanted to get this kind of out there. So thank you to every one of you who support me. Thank you to everybody who is becoming a member. Thank you to everybody who is buying me a cup of tea and enjoying the Bubble Tea Club. Thank you to everybody who is um, asking to send me things. Um, this, just just everything that you're doing and just remember that all the links are going to be in the description box below they will always be there so you don't need to ask me where my email is they are always going to be in the description box of the video everything you need to know is there um so that is it i will see you tomorrow's video don't forget my live will be with Trev on Friday at 7 p.m. And up until then, have a wonderful evening, whatever you're doing. Um, and as always, I love you. I appreciate you. But most of all, I respect you. Mwah. Bye, Bubble family.